Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fenchurch Street Station, beauty, I'll buy it. Too late, it's mine. Rent, wog. Righto, how many stations have you got? One. Okay, there you go, 50 bucks. And the rest? What rest? 500 bucks. Come on, give me a no checks. What for? The hotel, Fenchurch Street Travel Lodge. <laughs> You can't put a hotel on a station. I know that. I'm not stupid. It's a motel. Listen, there's nothing in the rules covering motels on stations. I had to put it there. Why? Of course, there was a train strike. <laughs> Thousands of passengers stranded overnight. Besides, I need the money. Now, give us it. Right, at, have it your own way, then. Motels are allowed on stations from now on. Thank you, Mr. Cabanossi Cruncher. <laughs> 500 bucks. Take it out of what you own. I don't owe you nothing. Motels are allowed on stations? Yeah. Right, I've got two of them and you're on one, so that's a thousand bucks. That's cheating. It is not. It is. It is not. Phil Marie's cheating. Chuck him out. You're the banker. Hang on, you can't chuck me out, mate. I own the board. No, you don't. I do so too. You don't. I Will do. You two shut up. It's not yours and it's not Bruno's. It's mine. I bought it yesterday. Well, what happened to ours? You chucked it in the incinerator. When? Well, you lost the last game. <laughs> I didn't lose the last game and it was ruined by an earthquake. And that was no earthquake. You chucked the board on the floor because you were losing. It was a fair dinkum earthquake, I tell you. Bull. It's true. It's a known fact that Wombat Crescent is on the famous Goanna Heights fault line. <laughs> and that's why there's a crack across the footpath every four foot six. Oh, rubbish, Dad. I'm fed up with your crazy stories. Oh, quick, quick. This time your father's right. What? There is a crack across it every four foot six. <laughs> Listen, are we going to play this bloody game or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, deal the cards. There are no cards. We're playing Monopoly. All right, we'll deal the dice then. Well, it's your bloody go. Don't shout at me. Give us the dice. I gave them to you. You didn't. I bloody did. You bloody didn't. All you gave me was two sugar cubes, which I put in my... <laughs> Give us it here. Get your greasy fish shop fingers out of that cup. Yeah, all right, all right. There's an oil slick in there already. Look. <laughs> Sure, just get them out. What with? With your fingers. I'm not putting my fingers in there. I have to drink out of that. All right, use your toes then. Or are they too cramped from peeling bananas? <laughs> Watch out, mate. With your teaspoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, come on, Ted. All right, all right. Teaspoons are very tricky things. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. One, two, three, four. Mayfair with a hotel, that'll be three and, th three and a half thousand bucks. I wasn't tossing the dice, I was saving him from drowning. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Bruno, let him toss again. Yeah, yeah, Mr Smarty. Cheats never prosper, honest men do. I'm not a cheat, so poo to you. <laughs> Just chuck the bloody dice. Yeah, all right. right, right. I'll move my own thing. Right, one, two, three, four, go. Two hundred bucks. Go back. Three and a half grand. Bloody wog. Have an earthquake coming on, Grace. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Three and a half grand. I haven't on. got it. Well, what have you got then? A get out of jail free card, which I mortgaged. Oh, well, what about your motel here on Fenchurch Street Station? You, why don't you mortgage that? Must be worth a few hundred bucks. There's no way I'm ever going to mortgage that. Why not? But he's already mortgaged it 12 times. <laughs> Ted fakes it, you're bankrupt. I'm not bankrupt. Somebody stole all my money. Oh, oh, rubbish. That's no, true. I've been embezzled. Look, one minute I'm rich, then the next minute I go out for a quick trip to the dunny, I come back, it's all gone down the gurgle. <laughs> Ted, who'd steal your money? Not for me to say, Thelma. I'm a gentleman. And a gentleman would never accuse any wog. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I take your money? To get your teeming hordes of relations out from Italy. <laughs> it's monopoly money. You can't buy anything with it. Not here you can't, but over there anything goes. Lira, <laughs> monopoly money, pal labels, it's all the same to them. <laughs> oh, it's true. Look, you can buy a bicycle with two Minty's wrappers. For one genuine Vegemite label, it'll get you a Fiat. All right, that's it. I'm going home. Come on, Greg. You're mad, Ted. Ah, giving it away, are we? Giving it away. Giving in. Her chalk up another victory on the wardrobe door, Phil. You didn't win. If anyone won, I did. <laughs> That'd be right. Typical bloody eye ties like during the war. Thousands of the eye ties sprinting across the desert, chucking away their boots and their guns, shouting, I win, I win. Right. Now, Come on. now, Come on. boys, now, look. I am the banker and I have the final decision. Agreed? Yeah, all right. Ted? Don't have to if I don't Ted. want to. Yeah, all right. Right. Well, what's the decision? Well, it's obvious. It's a draw. A 
draw, but... All right, all right. You get the winning bit of the draw. Hey. You get the prize for having the most money and the most property. And Ted gets the prize for paying the most rent. <laughs> Sounds fair enough to me. Speaking of rent, have you had any inquiries about the room yet? Oh, 